four player barricade you got a set of pieces everybody's got the same kind of pieces of a certain color yellow goes first green goes second blue goes third red goes fourth the very first piece that you play needs to cover the square in the corner that has a letter and your color so green is putting their piece in the bottom left corner to cover that corner square so you'll start in the four corners the way you place a piece on the board is you go to the second slide you choose the piece edit cut the piece that's usually control X as a shortcut on a keyboard and then paste the piece all right you want to make sure that you're cutting not copying because you're not allowed to reuse pieces all right, you can only use each piece, each type of piece once. Some of the other things you see me doing is using the Arrange tab to rotate and flip pieces. Okay, any you can rotate and flip them. If you're rotating, it's got to be 90 degree rotations. And you can either flip horizontally or vertically. The object of the game is to use up all your pieces and also to block other people from using up all their pieces. That's why it's called Barricade. After you've got your first piece placed, every subsequent piece needs to touch one of your already placed pieces at a corner. Your pieces aren't allowed to have edges overlapping. All right, their own, your color is only allowed to touch at the corners. No overlapping edges. All right, so the start of the game, you guys aren't near each other, so you're just you're just basically placing pieces. After a while, when a board is running out of room, you got to think a little bit more strategically. Where can I put my pieces so that I'm stopping other people from being able to place pieces and so that I'm leaving room open for me to place pieces? I will say that the strategy that the green pieces used is usually a bad strategy. Okay, they, they didn't spread out. They tried to bunch their pieces up in the corner. And usually if you do that, you end up getting stuck in your corner. Green has maybe one, maybe two more plays left, and then they're going to be barricaded in. Again, the rules are every time you place a new piece, it's only allowed to touch your colors at the corners, and it needs to touch at least one corner of a piece you've already played. It's not allowed to touch along the edges. If one person gets stuck and can't make any more moves, the other three people keep going in the same order that they've been going and just skip that person's turn uh, if two people drop out then it's just one on one for the rest of the game and then eventually you get to the end when nobody can make any more moves or when one person runs out of pieces in this case at the end of this game uh, blue was able to use up all their pieces they're going to be coming in first red used up all except for one of their pieces that would be second yellow has two pieces left their third and then green came in last 